hello good morning good afternoon and good evening welcome to my channel once again today in this in this video i'm going to be showing you a software a very very simple free software i mean free software uh to reduce any video file size without losing its quality these are one of the tools like uh the websites like net ninja toxic Warp, uh or a lot of movie sites that they use to reduce the file size of their movies without losing its quality especially netniger.com so this secret took me almost three months before i discovered it especially when i wanted to start my um, movie blog this uh, this secret so with this secret i think you'll be able to even start a blog a movie blog uh by yourself and you can start posting movies online and also start creating movies the way that niger uh, creates movies on their website also in this video i'm going to show you how to download it where to download it how to install it and also uh the settings you are going to input in the software that um that will make the software uh, do exactly what you want i'm going to teach you how to use the software this software is actually very very simple so let's go and download the software so the software name is handbrake you see let me show you a story a short story when i wanted to start my blogging uh my blogging my movie blog uh website so let me introduce my website before i start the video my website name is https Love.com. On my website, you can download lots of movies. Movies ranging from oh, I made a mistake. https On my website, you can download lots of latest movies ranging from. Uh, uh, from Hollywood to Nollywood to Bollywood to all kind of woods you can also download Korean dramas you can also download TV series Hollywood TV series Korean TV series uh, Nigerian TV series Nollywood TV series Bollywood TV series everything are here so I pick them based on ratings I pick my movies based on ratings so that um, I picked it based on those that are searching for it the most watched movies so when you come to my website you get quality movies that when you download it you will be able to enjoy it and don't just come to my website and post any movies so those are one of the advantages on my website so i post good movies and if you don't see it on my website and you see it if you see other movies on my website that is good and you don't see it on my website then probably uh, i'm not getting referred to the best movie you can also refer me to movies you can join my community my telegram community which the link below in the description which i'll be sharing you can join my facebook community you can join my twitter community you can join my instagram community you can also come to my website and share with your friends and also don't forget to subscribe when you get to my website subscribe uh, to swipe right you can just come to the bottom of the page and subscribe and get updates whenever i post movies on my website also most importantly you can also subscribe to a pop-up a website barely have um, a lot of ads although that is the only way to monetize a blogging site one of the only ways to monetize a blogging site. there are lots of other ways but this is one of the only and easiest way to monetize. my website users is very simple the downloading process is actually very simple unlike other free downloading site and to download movies on my, and series on my website is absolutely free anyhow let's go straight to the video so i'm going to be teaching you how to reduce file size and i'm going to be sharing the secret that a lot of people have been you see uh i said i wanted to tell you a story when i wanted to start my blog uh i was looking for a way to reduce the file size of my movies to from one gig to around 20 mb especially doing net ninja who is the biggest coin which I think is one of the biggest uh, uh, 
the highest viewing uh, movie sites in Nigeria. And the way they were able to capture uh, their customer base is uh, by reducing the file size of movies to absolute one because the, the rate at which we buy data here is actually quite high and um, people are not as rich as it um, uh, and the people are not as rich enough to download lots of movies and they need movies with lower size and high quality so with that is um, the owner of the site is able to target customers that needs movies that the qualities are high and the sizes are low so let's go ahead to the video uh, to the main topic of the tutorial which is how to reduce the movie file size from or a, a video file size from one gig so the name of the software as I told you before is Ambrick so let's go Google search for Ambrick so here we are to take us to the side let's go to download straight so the software supports Apple system, Mac system, Windows system. So since my system is a Windows system, I'm going to download the system and my system is 64 bits. We download the Ambrick software for 64 gig up there. So it's downloaded. The file size is around 12 MB. It should be done in a minute now. It's 26 seconds left. While wait, I'm going to let you know that in the description below, share the video on how to increase your website traffic I mean how to increase website traffic to get up to 5,000 10,000 11,000 20,000 views daily I mean daily I see the video on it a software which you can use to download Let's allow the other. The software in which you can use to uh, a software which you can use to get up to 1,000, 5,000 as much as as far as you are running the software and it's running and you put the number of views you want on your website and also the website uh, the software can click add parts for you and make and make money for your website simple and easy way so you can use the software there also you love my website the outlook you love the way it looks you love uh, and you would want something like this or you want something to some want me to do something like this you can hire me on fiber my link will be shared below or you can chat me on whatsapp or on telegram or via facebook or twitter you can chat me up or um but I will advise you the best and the fastest way to reach me is through my WhatsApp line. So just DM me on WhatsApp and I'm going to answer you. I'll take care of you. Uh, I'll be sharing um, a link to my WhatsApp also and, uh, in the description below. So let's go to the video. It has finished downloading. So let's install. So the simple way, it's actually very simple to install. Install and break like that. It's already installing like that. That's done. Believe me when I say this a lot of a lot of a lot of video editor don't know how to do this. A lot of video editors don't know how to do this. Majority of them don't know how to do this. When I was doing research on how Ninja does their stuff. I met with a lot of expert. I mean, I even met someone who went to uh, a school uh, of um, this thing and he was trying to figure it out, figure it out, figure it out. They couldn't get it. They couldn't get it. I have a friend who did video editing for almost four years. He couldn't get it either. I had to go online and do research and I was able to figure it out. That's why, those are one of the reasons why I said anything I wanted is what I will go to Google. Google will give me the answer. So, let me show you uh, how to do it you now. So it is that finished installing. This is the shortcut the software. So I'll just open the software. So now the most important part is you can see the installation process is actually quite easy. But the most important part is the settings. The most important part it is the settings for the software. So 
and also you should know the software is actually free it has been free for like forever so just go to the website and download it it is free you don't need to pay any money it's a free software so now this is the first place it's going to show you so um i don't have um actually a very large movie file on my system right now well, let me check but i'm going to show you the settings you are going to use and it's going to work like magic i mean magic let me check my video files uh, let me check my downloads see if there's any movies there i think most of my movies are already broken they are already movie uh, movies that have already been reduced to with this kind of software from different sites uh, all right so let me try uh, this cartoon Unix Equinox. So you can just can drag a file there. So oh, actually, there's a video I can use. There's a, this video I just finished editing. I can use it. So um, I want to use and break with it because the file is actually I. So let me show you the video. It's a tutorial video I just finished and I just finished editing uh, with my Wonder Chef Emora, which I'll be doing a tutorial also on how to edit videos. Uh, the simplest software to edit videos, simple ways and simple tools you can use to edit videos. So let me go straight to the software uh, source folder. So this is my handbrake. Let me cancel. Let me go back to open source the file from uh, it's always in the documents under chef Imora output oh problem is I don't know the file you know. I don't know the file name I can't remember the file name um, it should be video 10 maybe this video 10 let us see All right. Let me see. All right. This is the video file. It's my video ten. So let me release it. So this is the video. As you can see, let me show you the the properties of this video. The video is nine hundred and forty-four MB, nine hundred and forty-four MB, and the video is about um, twenty minutes or so. As you can see. 10 minutes so after I'm putting it with, uh, with HD quality uh, the video is hello around hello. 9 MB today uh, okay so let's use this video file 900 MB and you see where the magic handbrake is going to do to it so let's drag the file in All right, let's start the setup. So, as you can see, just to understand uh, a little overview of uh, the Ambric how it works and what they use for this open source is to get the movie file. As you all know, as you can see here, after you get the movie, you come here, add to queue. Is maybe you want to do batch uh, uh, editing? That is, you want to reduce a lot of movies so you can batch it in and add it to queue and then it automatically starts whenever one has finished uh queue it is to check that queue that you have added to preview it is to preview uh the quality before you start it activity the activity log preset it is the settings that you just use you can save it as a preset so that's basically everything there and this place is uh, you don't need it so let's go to the where the places where you need exactly so there are four sessions here. There are four uh, uh, sections here. So the summary section, uh, you leave it at MP4. The, actually, my movie is MP4, but if it was a torrent movie that you downloaded, it's going to be in MKB. So, but since my this thing is MP4, so it's in this MKB. Uh, since it's in MP4, if it's going to output the file, it's going to output it at M4V. So you change it back to MP4. 
you can see here the thing before that's very important you can use here you can change the name you want it to be ensure it is before the dot dot mp4 that dot is very important uh let's make it uh, traffic traffic tutorial Video files, it is advisable to use underscore instead of space, uh, especially those that are using websites or that upload movies. It's better to use underscore, it makes your websites more optimized and more enriched. That's why most of the uh, movies that you, know, you see underscore as a spacing, they use underscore as a spacing. So, those are one of the rules of um, movie bloggers. So, we have chosen it before, mm -hmm. align AB start. That's what you choose here. Eh? Then you go to dimension. My dimension is 128, 720. You can use any dimension, the width and height of the that is the width is the length uh, this size, this side that is, and then the height is this side. You can see the arrow, the width like this, the height is like this. So the larger you want it to be, you can go go on this index and get a big on the better understanding of what the height is, but it's better to leave the default and uh, mine is 1280 that i've set up in um while editing the file uh 120 720 is the best the filters don't do anything i don't touch anything here the video this is where you touch things so if you were um editing a movie of um maybe around also let me tell you a secret about torrent movies if you're using torrent movies and you want to reduce the file of torrent movies you need this is very very important you need to download the highest quality torrent movies that is let me take for example you go to a torrent site and then you want to download torrent movies don't download 720p don't download 480p don't download 360p ensure whatever you download it's 1080p and the quality is very 1080p hd quality hd quality so files of uh, 100 start from around 2.5 gig to 3 gig to 4 gig that is the best way so the higher the quality of the movie so when it cuts it down it will reduce the quality it will only affect the size it will cut down the video by not reducing the quality but it will cut down the size so it can cut it down from 4 gig to around 300 mb 200 mb that's what I'm saying. So the higher the quality, the higher it will cut down. So it will count it to 500 MB. So with these settings, it can talk to 500 MB, 400 MB. The highest it can go is 450 to 500 MB. From 4 gig to 450 to 500 MB. I think that's very, very, that's an excellent way of reducing file size. And if the quality is very, very good, especially the old, especially the Hollywood movies, it will cut it from uh, 4 gig or 5 gig or uh, 3 gig. To almost 200 MB to 50 MB, sometimes it will take it to around 150 MB for series. It can take series, especially the uh, animation cartoons, can take series from around um, uh, around 2 gig series cartoon because it's a TV series, so the length is not due to the timing. Uh, it can take it from around 2 gig to 50 MB, sometimes it can take it to 40 MB. So, this is from experience because you know, I have a blog. That does that so you move this you see the const, constant quality you move it to 35 so 35 35 is good enough if you go further it will become worse if you go lesser it will increase the size 35 is enough i think that's the best so far this one you change it to h.265 slash x25 this one you change it to same as source you change, you change the constant frame rate now this place is very very important this part you see if you put it at fast it will quickly do it it will quickly uh, finish up the process but it will not break it to its minimum size as i mean it can reduce the file from um from one gig to uh around it uh, from four gig to around 800 mb so that's not enough for some people, especially for people who run who, uh, who runs, uh, uh, who, uh, movie blogs in Nigeria that those that are targeting them are those that want to download movies to around uh, 360 to 
to 200 MBs. So if you go to medium, that's okay. If you go to slow, that is the best. But it should be very, very, very slow. So if you now go to slower, that's also one of the it is the baddest. It can reduce files of um, 4 gig to 100 MB and it will not lose quality. The slower the process, the better the this thing. But if your system is not a system with a uh, around 18 to 20 gig RAM with a ROM of um, around um, ROM of around two gigabyte, um, two terabytes or three terabytes uh, with a processor of um, around 12 um, processors, i12. I don't know if it exists. Well, the highest core. Uh, um, and your system speed is very fast it and then that's uh, uh this video codec uh this thing what are they calling it forgotten the name there is this the this thing that they call it i forgot the name your system must be a, a g-force if it doesn't have g-force my brother don't even try it so it's better to because you might use two days to edit files so you can go for slow or medium so for this one i'm going to go for medium because I don't want it to be too slow and my system is just ordinary Core i5 and 4 gb RAM and uh, 320 ROM, 220 MB ROM my, but my processor is actually very good so and also one of the advantages of this software is that this uh, software if you are not using it for business purposes and you do have a very good system and your system is not that strong please don't use it no use your system you are going to kill that system because it will make it will put all your processors to work it will put it to work so and this place after you have changed it choose whether medium or slow you want to use then change this one from auto to main this place you can see that these are the place where the major settings is this place is where the major settings is once you have done that you can decide to add subtitles to your movie but it's not needed now you can go to audio can you change decide to change your audio to a six um I will codec uh, AV codec. If it's not there, if it's not in AV codec, you can change. You can make it AC AC three. Those are the two ones that I would advise you to use AAC or AC three. But it's better to leave it at this AAC. So you have to just leave it there. And if it's not there as AAC, you can change it to AAC. And the rest you don't need it. Chapters you don't need. It. You don't need it. Then just come here and click start encoding. You can see to start encoding. So. Let's let me explain this. Way. So the time remaining for it to do to ed finish editing it is 28 minutes. So I can't wait for 20 minutes. So after 28 minutes or uh, after let's say average 30 minutes or once it's done, I'm going to show you the result of the uh, of the editing of whatever I'm doing has done to my file. So. Mm, Let's stop the video here. So, to continue the video on the arm break uh, uh, video that we did, uh, it has finished. You can see Q finished. So, let's go and check it out. So, as you can see here, the video is in my video file on my system. So, simply I'll go to my video, my videos. And where is the video? Oh, this is a traffic tutorial. So I reduce the file from one gig or nine and something gig. So, uh, so let's check the file size now. As you can see there. If I start playing the video, the size size you can see the 36 MB. You can see it. Stop this. Stop it. As you can see here, it reduces the file from 900 MB to 36 MB. 36 MB. 36 MB. Wow. That's a lot of reduction. 86 MB for real, dude. Oh, fuck. I was actually very surprised and very impressed at the same time. It reduces the file size of 966 MB. 900 MB. So you see, 
uh, the uh, the power of this tool so let's see the video and see whether the quality is still excellent as it see as it says so look at the video as you can see there is no there is barely no loss in quality as you can see you can see then we use the software then you can see the video is still as clear as it should be as you can see here the video is still very clear and with this i can just upload it on youtube as i think and i'll save my data of uploading it i don't upload it uh, 900 mb my video to 6 mb so you should try using this tool or yourself for editing thank you very much have a nice day don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, don't forget to share and see you in the next video.